You, you right there, before you actually start watching that video, hit that subscribe button. Hey everybody, this is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading. Finally, after a week, I'm able to actually watch the markets. I've been working full days at my part-time job for the last week. My bosses have been out of town and obviously it forced me to be in the office each and every day. So I wasn't actually able to watch the markets hardly at all uh, for the last week. And I just got an opportunity to sit down and watch them today. Um, I missed my entry on SPY, of course, because I have to take my uh, son uh, to school in the mornings. I got in 15 minutes after the opening bell and I, uh, I just, I opt out to, to not trade. I stayed out of the markets, but man, what a, what a crazy wild red day in the markets it was. I'm sure those puts, uh, you could have made easily probably a hundred percent on some of them. I'm positive. So I'm so sorry, guys. I haven't been able to trade that I haven't updated you guys. Life has been getting in the way, unfortunately. I let you guys know that I was switching brokers to Tastyworks from eOption. That's still um, a work in progress. Even though I already opened up my account with Tastyworks, um, I haven't funded it yet. And I recently got an opportunity to possibly purchase a piece of property here in my hometown for myself and my son. So I wasn't sure how much I, I could afford, essentially afford to um, trade and, and possibly lose and, and gamble with, essentially. Um, and at first, I, I just I was gonna update you guys and say, you know what, I'm I'm gonna be out for for a little bit. But I decided that um, I can a hundred percent be comfortable with losing five hundred dollars. I can play with, toy with, and try to grow with five hundred dollars. Um, it's only going to be temporary. Um, if I purchase this piece of property, I might I might still have a little bit left over and I can throw uh, a couple thousand dollars back into my trading account. With $500 at the very least, it'll keep me going in the game. It'll keep me trading. It'll keep me uh, vlogging for you guys and making videos, making trading videos and showing you my screens and whatnot, guys. So um, that's, that's a big update here for you guys. And I hope you guys can appreciate that, so that I'm being very honest and, and, and very just honest and upfront with you guys. And updating you not only for for training purposes but in my life this is totally my life and I'm putting it all out there guys so thank you so much for uh, for watching uh, my videos supporting me um, for, for the last year year and a half I greatly appreciate that guys thank you so much and I just want to put it out there guys uh, not necessarily am I trying to get you guys to answer this question for me but I'm gonna put it out there why is trading so subjective? Why is it so hard? I think um, the reason why, uh, why it's so subjective and it's not very objective black and white is because for this reason, anytime an indicator is getting to oversold or overbought uh, territories, do you see that as um, a point where the stock price or ETF price can turn around? Let's say um, you know it's an overbought situation. Um, is and does that signal that it's possibly going to turn around and actually switch trends and go down, or vice versa? When it's oversold, does it necessarily mean that um, that it's actually about to turn around and start going back up? Um, nobody knows the, the those answers. What you see could be different from what I see. The majority of the time. Whenever I see an indicator that is oversold or overbought, not necessarily do I see it that it's about to turn around and go the other way. I actually see it as a signal of strength. When it's an oversold or overbought, sure, you don't necessarily buy in uh, on those uh, uh, in those key areas because it might consolidate or actually go the other direction for a little bit. In, in a nutshell, consolidate before it continues going up higher or lower, whatever direction you're looking at. So I believe for this reason and that reason alone, that's why it's so subjective and, and nobody can actually hone in on a very objective st uh, trading strategy because we we can interpret uh, a particular move a lot differently, guys. So uh, just putting it out there, comment down below why you think uh, trading is so difficult. Why is it so hard? What could we do as day traders to make it easier on us to make money, trade these markets, and get rich, guys? Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I greatly appreciate it. 
I might not actually be trading until next week. Um, again, life happens and I have to be out of town tomorrow, which is Thursday, and then I don't trade on Fridays. I have to work full days at my part-time job on Friday. So maybe not until sometime next week, I won't be actually trading, guys. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. See you again next time.